Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a switch that can switch your Material UI React app from light mode to dark mode, and essentially how you can change your theme um, on the fly when you're using Material UI and React together. As you can see here, I have a very basic application I put together really quickly through um, Create React App and I just installed Material UI Core, and all we have here is pretty much just some typography, two different buttons, and all of them are stacked on top of some paper. And I'll explain why the paper is necessary in just a second. Just a reminder, if you like this video, please consider um, leaving a comment below, subscribing or liking the video. It really helps the YouTube channel and it really helps with the algorithm to get my videos out there to more and more people so I can continue making them. I really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wrap all of our code. So right now I'm just using an app.js, but um, regularly you would usually have a theme provider wrapped around uh, your app app either in your app itself or in index.js. So if you're unfamiliar with what theme provider is, is it is what passes the theme variables to the in all the material UI components inside your entire application. And if you still need more clarification, I have a great video on theming with material UI um, in one of my past videos, so go and check that out. So let's go ahead and import theme provider and create MUI theme from material UI slash core slash styles. Theme provider will be the actual provider we use, so we can go ahead and wrap all our code around in theme provider, just like so. And by the way, I hope the text is uh, big enough for you guys to see. I know some feedback on my last video was that the text uh, was not big enough. Um, so now let's go ahead and just create our theme. So let's call this const theme equals, and then we're going to do create movie theme. And in here, we don't really have to do anything for now, and we'll see if I put theme equals theme in here, we'll see that nothing has changed. When we want our theme for our React app to actually be the dark theme, all you have to do is go into palette, and in palette, set the type to dark, and you'll see that our application will change to the dark theme. And the reason we're using paper is because paper will get this theme change um, whenever our theme changes, whereas our baseline React application, if I were to comment out the paper tags, you'll see that nothing actually in the background changes. And because the background isn't changing, typography, which dynamically is able to detect what the uh, background color is, will also not change to white font. So Matil UI is very clever in that sense. So it's recommended that you should always wrap your application around in a paper um, in, in paper instead of just having uh, no tags at all around it, which is why we've done this. And you'll see as soon as the paper is there, the paper will default to gray and then the typography will always be the opposite of whatever it is on top of if you don't touch it. Now you'll notice also that these buttons haven't changed. Well, one of these buttons, the pri color is primary and the other is secondary. Let's see what happens when I remove this color and all of a sudden it is default. You can see it's sort of this neutral color and if I were to get rid of the type equals dark, we'll see that the color actually hasn't changed. And the reason for this is only a couple of Material UI components will actually change their background. In fact, it's mostly the ones that are based off of um, paper. For example, if we were to go to Material UI and we were to look at card, we can see that the card, I, I have my Material UI on the website right now in black mode, uh, dark mode, but if we were to toggle it to light mode, you would see the card is actually uh, built with a white background. And if we were to look inside the card, we would see that the card is actually built on top of paper, and that's why it switches. And when we go to dark mode, all that's happening is the paper in the background changes, and all the font on top of it will also change uh, and end up being... Um, whatever it should be on top of it. So for the title of a card, it actually goes to a certain gray color. And um, for the actual header that goes into a card, or sorry, the um, main title on the card, I guess this would be the header, it goes into a, uh, in fact, we can actually even just see what it is. The card content, um, word of the day. So at the top of the card content, we can see that the color is text secondary, which is why it goes to gray. Um, but that is pretty much why most of the material UI uh, elements will change when you have dark mode. Now let's look at how we can make it toggleable. So 
we see here that we have our um, palette is equal to dark, but what if we wanted to toggle between them? Well, the first thing we're going to do is let's use a state variable um, and let's call it dark mode. So const dark mode and then we're going to have set dark mode. And if you're not familiar with use state, it's just a hook that allows you to make state very similar, um, very similar to uh, react regular set state. Um, and I also have a video on that if you're unfamiliar, but I'm going to assume that you've used set state, uh, use state before. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make this type dependent on our dark mode variable. So if dark mode is true, then we're going to have the type be dark. If it's not, we're just going to have it default to light. And we'll see here, because we are initializing it to false, if we were going to go to come back, we would see here that it's still, uh, it, it is now a white background. And I'm going to go ahead and change this. Uh, color on this button back to primary because I think it looks nicer. It's easier on the eyes. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use um, until UI switch component. So switch component is very basic. It's just a toggleable uh, switch. So I'm going to go ahead and import that. And what I'm going to do is below this button, let's say I'm going to add the switch. Um, and inside the switch, I'm going to say the value of it. So if we look at the API, we can see uh, checked is whether or not it is um, pretty much on or off. So checked is going to be equal to dark mode because that's a variable we want to base this off of. And then on change, we want the on change to be a function that calls pretty much um, that that calls this set dark mode function that we get back from our uh, use state. So deck set dark mode to whatever the opposite of dark mode is. Um, so now you can see here we have our switch and if I click it, it turns dark mode on and if I uncheck it, it turns it off and on. And you don't have to just do this with a switch. Um, there are a lot of different ways uh, you can do this. It's just basic input manipulation. Um, and you can have actually a lot of different themes uh, in your React application as well. So let's say, for example, if I wanted to have a uh, dark, let's say um, another way to do this is I could have a dark theme. And I'll go ahead and make this just dark. And let's go ahead and create. Uh, so for dark theme, we don't really have to do much palette overriding um, because uh, the type dark already does that for us unless we wanted to customize it. Then let's say we have light theme and for light theme, um, it defaults to light so we don't have to pass anything in. And let's say um, we wanted to switch between those two. Well, we could do that at this level. So we could say dark mode and then um, we can have this at uh, dark. We can pass in dark theme else we can pass in light theme. Oops. So that's another way we could do that. Now, let's say instead of light theme, let's say we had like, I don't know, green theme or something like that. And inside a palette, we had like primary, uh, let's say green. And let's import green from material UI. And let's say we wanted secondary also to be like uh, um, green as well. So now if we were to save this and then rename this over here, We'll see the default is um, this green theme, and when we switch it, it'll go to black, uh, dark, and when we unswitch it, it'll go to this green theme. So that's another way you can sort of um, make different types of themes in your whoops, different types of themes in your application. So yeah, it was a really quick video. I hope that answered a lot of the questions you guys had about how to switch. I know. Uh, switch themes ad hoc on the fly. I know a lot of people have been asking in the comments. If you found value in this video, please remember to subscribe, comment below, and or hit the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I hope everyone's staying safe and have an amazing day. Thanks for watching.